Welcome back to the discussion and thank you for always joining us. This is KCAC 1997 paper 1 question number 22, a question on vectors. And the question we have reads in the figure below OA is equal to a vector. OB is equal to B vector. And AB is equal to BC. OB to BD is 3 to 1. That is the ratio given. We are required to determine in terms of vectors A and B vector a b so part a roman one to get vector a b we are supposed to move from a to b but for us to move from a to b we use the root a o then from o we go to b o a is positive a vector that means coming back from a to o will be negative a vector then plus o b is b vector and this can also be expressed as b minus a vector once we have done that we go to part b of the question roman 2 sorry and in roman 2 we are told to find cd and for us to move from c to d we are going to use the root cb we use the root cb then from B we go to D. We know CB. We know CB is negative because BC is equal to AB. That means CB we are going to have negative B instead of positive. Then plus A vector positive. Plus BD will be one out of the other remaining length, which is. 3 of the vector b. If you take negative b plus a third b, we are going to have negative 2 over 3b plus a vector, and this can be organized as a minus 2 over 3b vector. Once we have done that, we can now move to these other parts. That is part B of the question. And in part B, we are told that CD, CD is equal to 1, ratio K, and also OA is 1, ratio M. Then from there, we are told to determine DE in terms of vectors A, B, and K. So for us to be able to determine vectors DE, DE will be obtained, DE will be obtained by taking the root given. And the root given is k. The ratio is k c d. And already we have c d, therefore we are going to have k into c d. And c d is minus 2 over 3 b vector plus a vector. which is the same as k multiplied by a vector minus 2 over 3 b vector. Once we have done that, we have expressed de in terms of a, b, and k. You can open the bracket or just leave it at that point. Then next we move to Roman 2 of the question. That is b Roman 2 where we are supposed to find the values of k and m. For us to be able to find the values of k and m, we are going to use the triangle. We are going to use triangle O, D, E. Triangle O, D, E is the one that we are going to use to give us the values of m and k. 
because that is the triangle where M and the K ratios have been used. The first thing we are going to do, it is to find OE in two different ways. And the first way is to move from O to D, and then from D we go to E. Remember, OD, OD is going to be equal to 4, that is the length of the old line, over this other length OB using the properties of vectors, which is 3 of B vector, plus DE, DE is K, multiplied by, already we have found that, multiplied by CD, and CD is given as A vector, minus 2 over 3 of B vector. Once we have done that, we can now proceed and get another OE. Let me say this is OE1, then this is OE2, and for us to move from O to E, we must use OA, then we move from A to E. We know OA is A vector, then plus AE is going to be equal to the ratio M over 1 of A, which is A vector. From here we know we can factor A outside such that we have A into 1 plus M as our OE. Then from there we can equate the 2, equate OE1 with OE2. OE1 is K, OE1 is, sorry, it's 4 over 3, B, plus, we open the brackets, that is we, what we are going to have as K into A minus 2 over 3B, and this one is going to be equal to A into 1 minus M, that is 1 plus M, sorry. From there, we can open up these brackets such that we have 4 out of 3B plus K times A, you get AK. Then K times minus 2 over 3, you get minus 2 over 3BK. And this one is going to be equivalent to A into 1 plus M. Once we have done that, we can collect the like terms. And therefore, we are going to have 4 over 3b minus 2 over 3bk being equal to a into 1 plus m. From there now we realize b does not have the corresponding component on the other side and therefore if we factor b outside we are going to have b into we are going to have b into into 4 over 3, you're going to have B into 4 over 3, minus 2 over 3K being equal to 0. If that is the case, B is going to be equal to 0, and therefore we are going to start, we are going to move by taking 4 over 3, minus 2 over 3K to be equal to 0. Then if we move negative 2 over 3 to the other side, we are going to have, we are going to have neg uh, positive 2 over 3k being equal to 4 over 3. If we multiply by the LCM, which is 3 on both sides, 3 and 3 will cancel, such that we are going to have 2k being equal to 4. If you divide both sides by 2k is going to be equal to 2. Then we pick the other part also, we know AK is going to be equal to A into 1 plus M, meaning A and A will cancel, giving us K being equal to 1 plus M. We know K is 2, this is going to be equal to 1 plus M, meaning if we moved 
1 to this other side, m is going to be 2 minus 1, which would be equal to 1. Therefore, the value of m is going to be 1, and the value of k is going to be 2, and that becomes the answer to this particular part. Thank you for watching and welcome to our discussion. And in case you're watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, you click the subscribe button so that anytime we publish a video like this, you will automatically be given a notification. Thank you and welcome.